now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. I'm not 
not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife, Kay, left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. Odin Finch buries the latest victims on January 7th. But 40 foot waves off Odin's daughter of Edie. Odin With Finch husbands. is the first. His daughter big. Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I Want to Remember My Brother, by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom, and he did.
At Barber's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Sam! Calvin! Dino's ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that, Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up, then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. The day he made up his mind to fly, and he did. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Great Grandma had always been the family's biggest fan. Louis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Ben gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down.
Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Barbara was a child star for two years, until America grew out of it. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Old Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform